speaker right now we have received the causes of the death according to the father the father said his son called him and said he was poisoned right now the minister said our brother died out of cancer we need to investigate no. now there has been chaos in parliament after the minister of health ruth Cheng announced the real cause of jacob lanya's death stand by for the details <music> Uh, in other news, comedian Maulana is in trouble and he could spend a long time in prison. Subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, we all know that domestic violence is a big problem worldwide but especially on this African continent. Now, the latest story I have about domestic violence involves a Ugandan comedian and this guy has been beating his wife seriously. Now, this comedian is called Maulana and on stage he works with another comedian known as Rain. Now, the wife says that before coming out to the public, she had tried to engage other family members and the local leaders, but all in vain. Uh, she also says that Maulana had promised to kill her and that is one of the reasons why she decided to run to police, at least to sort this matter before things get worse. <laughs> Innocent. <laughs> But guess what? Maulana says whatever this woman is talking about, she's just trying to dart in his name because he's a celebrity. But Maulana says he's been doing everything a good husband can do, but he doesn't know why this woman is against her. Anyway, the fact that the matter is already reported at police, let's just wait for what will come out from that side. Otherwise, personally, I don't support beating a woman. I mean, she's the mother of your children. Why would you beat her? And in other news, there was chaos in parliament after the minister of health, Ruth Cheng, revealed the cause of Jacob Olanya's death. Uh, we all know that today Jacob Olanya's body lied in parliament for members of parliament to have their last remarks on the fallen speaker. Now, Ruth Cheng said that cancer was the main cause of Jacob Olanya's death. Uh, she also said that the heart failed, the liver failed, the lungs failed, and the kidney failed as well. However, later, Gilbert Olanya, member of parliament representing Kilak South, stood up bitterly and tasked government to come out and investigate the real cause of Jacob Olanya's death. Right, now, speaker, right now, we have received the causes of the death. According to the father, the father said his son called him and said he was poisoned. Right now, the minister said our brother died out of cancer. We need to investigate. No, uh, Honorable Gilbert. Right over speaker. Honorable Gilbert, Honorable Gilbert, please. O on Honorable Gilbert, on Honorable Gilbert, please, that language is not a language we need now. The doctors, colleagues, colleagues, please, please. Honorable Gilbert, take your seat. Please take most, your seat. Uh, most of late. No, 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 please. Right over speaker, most of late. Please, please. But we should. Honorable Gilbert, please take your seat.
Now, it should be remembered that recently, Chief Justice Alfonso Owenyidolo also said that after barring Jacob Olanya, elders in Acholi are going to sit down and discuss the real cause of Jacob Olanya's death. So, personally, I think government need to come out and address or investigate seriously this poison claim that is circulating in the public. Otherwise, the more they put it off from being talked about or discussed, the more it circulates in the public. So, for me, I think it's better they address it for people to calm down other than just putting it off. That is my thought. I don't know what you think about this one, but you can leave me with your comment in the comment section right there. I will keep you posted on this story. Uh, what you have to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.